welcome to Mick's Tricks. Uh, I'm Lisa and this is Mick and we are teaching, oh, that's Spiffy in the background, I'm teaching Mick how to do the ring toss. I got this on Amazon, it's a, it's a wooden platform with a dowel that screws in. Simple child's toy and these are some hard plastic rings. You need a couple of prerequisites for this trick. You need your dog to pick something up and hold it in his mouth and carry it, which uh, took us a long time to learn. And um, you need to teach your dog to um, to touch something with his nose. Touch. <laughs> touch with your nose. With your nose. Touch. Yeah. All right. Um, what you do first is uh, I was rewarding any interest in this contraption and um, gradually shaping the behavior. The, um, at first he got treated just for picking this up. He's drooling. He's so excited. He got treated just for picking this up and, um, and then he got treated for dropping it near the platform. And that's about where we are now. Eventually I will only treat him for dropping the, uh, the ring over the hook and, and I mean the, the peg. And sometimes he does it now. Uh, when I first began, I had to say, take it, good boy, bring it right here. And then I required him to pick it up himself, yes. And he'll keep trying. Good. The fact that he dropped it on the platform is all I'm going for right now. Right here. Here. Yes. All right. He dropped it on this. It didn't make it on the ring. <laughs> uh, the couple of times that it does make it on the ring, I give him lots of treats so that he knows that's what I'm going for, and he'll figure it out. Right here. Right here. Come on, come on. I got to keep things a little cooler because he's uh, he's excited and he's sort of flinging it every which way. He's not really thinking, so I'm going to try to. Uh, convey to him that I need him to calm down a little bit. It's, there's a sweet spot here between being bored and disinterested and being too excited to pay attention. Let's go. Yes. Let's drop it right here. Can you drop it right here? I'm saying uh, he knows drop it and he knows right here, so I'm, right now I'm trying to cue him by combining those two. Yes, yes. Can you take it and drop it right here? He knows take it, which is to pick something up and carry it in his mouth. Drop it right here. Yes. That time he dropped it on the platform. That's all I'm going for today. That was good enough. Yes. He brought it over to this area. Can you pick it up and drop it right here? Right now I'm keeping the ring near this. Eventually, I will move the ring further away, and he'll have to go get it and bring it here. You pick it up. You drop it right here. Yes, good boy. Uh, that time, I don't know if you noticed, he, um, he he picked it up and he took a step toward. Yes, he got it. Oh, good boy. Good boy. That's what we're going for, Mick. That's it. Well, there you have it. It's a bit of trial and error, and eventually uh, he'll keep he'll keep trying. I'll keep rewarding um, for higher and higher levels of success, and eventually he will do this just about every time, right, Mickey? And that's how you teach ring toss. To review, you teach your dog to take it, or carry something in his mouth, and drop it, and to touch something, which in this case is the top of this peg, and uh, you kind of combine all of them until your dog is reliably dropping it. So at first you reward just any interest in this and this, and then any interest in picking this up and bringing it near this, nearer and nearer, dropping it on the platform, and then eventually requiring uh, a bullseye. So that's the ring toss. Uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions, I'm all ears, and so is Mick. Um, 
please subscribe to our channel or join us on our Spark Team on Facebook. It's Mix Tricks Spark Team. And uh, go have fun with your dog. Thanks for watching.